Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set of darts from the Shot Kelt range and these are the Kelt Claymore and these are a very nice looking dart. They've got a kind of a, a tartan pattern on the barrels and as you know the Claymore was like a, a Scottish longsword or broadsword. So let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 24 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also in 23 and 25 gram in steel tip and 18, 16.5 for the barrel and 20, 18.5 for the barrel in soft tip and retail for £87.95. So they come in the shot cardboard packaging and again it's got the artwork representing the Kelt Claymore On the back, you got a little bit of info about the theme of the darts. And inside, you got a foam tray holding everything in place. And they come supplied with the koi in between carbon stems and the Claymore small standard 100 micron flights. So the darts fit with the Kelt cinder etched points and it's a straight barrel dart and once again a really amazingly well machined set from shot darts and it's got the black titanium with the red electro plate coating and as you can see it's kind of like a tartan pa pattern on the black and red sections but just a little bit up from the front you've got the rebellion grip which is running through the Celt range and that's made up of these Celtic crosses I'll show you a more detailed close up just now but uh, again really great looking set of darts and as it's a straight barrel it should work well for most people and they come fitted with the koi red in between carbon stems and the Celt Claymore small standard flights so the darts are fit with the shot kelt points with the cinder etched pattern on and you've got a, a slightly tapered bone nose there and the dart has got this black titanium and red electro plated coating on as you can see and it's a mix of rings with cross cuts and wider rings and as you can probably tell it's a kind of a, a tartan pattern as you move along you get into the rebellion grip which is running through the Celt theme and that's like a Celtic cross design again you've got uh, natural tungsten against the black titanium so stands out nice and the rest of the barrel is made of that tartan style grip pattern a mix of very thin rings and wide rings with the cross cuts going through very nice design again so that's the super close look at the shot kelt claymore that's fit with the 30 millimeter celtic points with the cinder etched pattern it's got a three millimeter ball nose that's smooth and then you've got the first section of the tartan grip a mix of thin rings and wide rings and thin cross cuts that's 9.5 millimeters then you've got the rebellion grip which has got some of the tartan grip in between that's 11.5 millimeters the rest of the barrel is made up of the tartan grip again same wide rings thin rings and grooves and cross cuts 24 millimeters small section on the end of two millimeters length is 50 millimeters width is 6.7 millimeters twenty four point zero nine grams twenty four point zero eight grams and 24.1 grams full setup 25.95 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup 
and this is a balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So there's some edginess to the tartan grip and I think it's just down to the thin rings and cuts. Uh, maybe just a little bit more grippy than the Rebellion grip section, so 6.5 at most, but maybe some people may find it a touch grippier. Oh, I love that. Um, I'm gripping fairly close to the nose, which is often the reason why I, I like a bull nose. So I'm not on the section of Rebellion grip there. I'm on that kind of a tartan grip. And there's a little bit of edginess to it. I would say overall it's more grippy than the Rebellion grip. Oh, well stuck in that one. Um, I'll try it from the Rebellion grip fully on this throw just to see but I think for front grippers if you, if you like a, a nice reference point so that, that Rebellion grip probably works well for that yeah it throws quite nice from there a little bit better balance because I'm a little bit closer to the center and it's quite smooth through the air but it's not as grippy on that section as the tartan grip and I think it's just down to the fact that there's a lot of thin edges along there maybe in time it'll probably equalize and probably be about the same as that rebellion grip but uh, nice feel there from the front grip Now from this middle section, kind of a little bit of a mixture, a little bit on the tartan grip. Oh, my arm's <laughs> a little bit on the tartan grip there and a little bit on the uh, rebellion grip there. So I don't know if it was because of that, but they were kind of like spinning and fishtailing a little bit to the right. But let's see if I can throw a little bit better. No, oh, they're still doing it, so. Yeah, that last one wasn't so bad, but the first and second one. See, when you get on this Rebellion grip, you've got the sections with the crosses, but in between, you've got like these black sections and it almost looks like a kind of a mini scallop. So you kind of feel that a little bit catching on the edge of your thumb. Well, them two didn't do it so much, so. Must be just getting the hang of it. And I managed to get the last one in, so. <laughs> it's probably just getting used to the feel of it and and kind of getting used to how to cut out. God, what's up with these points? I know they've got a kind of a cinder etching on, but they're sticking in quite well. So probably fine for middle grippers, but it may feel a little bit strange at first because if you straddle the two different grips, it might just take a while to get used to it, but nice balance there from the middle. Caught the first one okay, but the uh, second and last one just didn't have it balanced in my grip properly. Um, on the rear section though, depending on where you're gripping, you've got the fullest amount of that tartan grip, so probably nicest for that particular grip. Nope, it's doing a little bit better with them ones. So, 
I often say straight barrel dart. It's going to work whether you're front, middle or rear gripper, but I think there's some specific pointers there for front and rear grippers. Middle grippers, you may be mixed between the two different types of grips, so it just depends on whether you're happy with that. But for a rear gripper, I think it's going to be a nice one. And if you like to grip just above from the front and in front of centre and you're fully on that Rebellion grip, I think that was quite nicely balanced there as well. But for me, as a front gripper that tends to grip close to the nose, I thought that felt really nice, that tartan grip. So, there you go, that's the shot kelp claymore darts. Um, it's a straight barrel dart, so obviously it'll work whether you're front, middle or rear gripper. Um, if you're a front gripper and you grip around where the rebellion grip is, it acts as a kind of a nice reference point there and quite nicely balanced. Um, I like to grip right on the nose, like I said, so that tartan grip feels quite nice for me. Um, but if you're around the middle, you may be straddling the two different grips. So it may take a while to get the hang of that, but again, it's a little bit better balanced again from there. But rear grippers, you've got the full amount of tartan grip on the rear and flies quite nice from the rear as well. So for natural rear grippers, it's going to be nice. Uh, so overall, Another nice dart from Shaw. Uh, so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.